The next question comes from Effie. Shout out Effie. I know Effie from my Twitch channel. She's awesome. Do you try again if they don't respond to your email or do you automatically think that it is a rejection? And they're obviously referring to any time you might reach out to somebody asking for something, whether it be a photo pass or, you know, anything, just a correspondence. So what do you think? Oh, I have to answer. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like waiting for you. <laughs> Let's see. Somebody not responding to your email can be a nice way of saying no. You have to keep in mind the people you're reaching out to are sending hundreds of emails a day. I saw a manager's computer the other day and it said like 200,000 unread emails. And I was like, Jesus Christ. That gives me anxiety. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I can't. I can't do that. Yeah. Sometimes people don't even have enough time to say no. And I know that sounds heartless and hard to understand. And it's really hard to explain the position they're in, but they literally just don't have the time. And don't take it personally. Totally normal. Yeah, you might get rejected. That's okay. I think the most appropriate thing you can do is like, if it's a time sensitive thing, like you talk to somebody, like in my life, it's always a photo pass. Hey, do you think I can get a pass for this concert? If I don't hear back from them, I will respond in the like 24 hours before the show to my own email. And I'll just say, hey, just checking in on this. No worries if you don't have time to respond. I understand. Keep it short. Keep it simple. Don't hold a grudge. They're not trying to do anything mean to you. They don't have any personal tiffs with you. Nobody hates you, even though it can feel that way sometime when nobody's responding to your emails. It's just how the industry goes. And I promise you, you'll probably work with them later in your career. I also think that like being able to deal with rejections is is one of the hardest lessons to learn in life, but it's also one of the most valuable if you can work on that from an early point in your life or like in your career to be okay with being told no, hey, you know, could I do this? And someone's like, no, I can't. Sorry. A lot of times I would prefer to work with people that are able to be told no, because I know that they can I can work with them in a professional setting and they can keep it professional. Yeah, it's how you handle it, right? It is. It's everything, you know, and, and that that says a lot about you. And in those instances, if you do kind of lose your temper or you think you handle it, you know, by showing some insecurity or you're, you think that they dislike you or something like that. It's rough. It can be really, really rough. It looks bad. Yeah, it, it never. And that stuff sticks out. This is a profession, you know, and and it, there is a lot of emotion in it. There, we're all artists. We're all creatives at heart. You know, if you're into music, you obviously you feel it and you're into it for a reason. You know, it can be a lot. You know, and, and it's all and it's in, inherently in all of us to react and be a certain way in, in certain situations, especially when someone tells you no or it's a negative situation. But it's not negative. That's the thing you have to understand. It's not negative. Probably 98 percent of the time it's not negative. And the times that it is negative, you don't want to work with those people anyways, because they clearly have their own issues. 